It's so warm. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. This ain't no pussy, bro. This is pussy to you. They be looking at vaginas the whole day. My coochie is falling off the bone. And it reduces in grown hairs. On a, on a big homie nigga, don't you get this shit twisted. Middle finger up, finger for the competition. Niggas always talking so you know they never listen. P220 turn a nigga to a Christian. Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, what's good? You all good? You all good? It is the girl that was born in the 015 and is just trying to survive. The one they call a slut and can't keep her mouth shut. The cutie patootie with a little booty. Anyway, child, today I will be getting waxed. You know, it's not my first time. And you'll realize throughout this channel that I kind of have like this weird kink for pain like I enjoy it a lot so you guys are just gonna be we're gonna be hanging we'll be chilling I'll be telling you how it goes you know usually sometimes I live retweet <laughs> but I was like hey man I have a YouTube channel so let's let's film it obviously I won't be showing you like my coochie bro ain't, no, ain't, ain't nobody trying to see that if you are trying to see that leave this channel <laughs> This ain't the right place that you're gonna see that, sweetie. So yeah, just join me on my journey to getting this wax, baby. <laughs> dressed just waiting for the lovely lady to come assist me <laughs> Oh, that feels weird. Oh my days! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's only a guy, <laughs> and that's only a small patch. I don't know. But I'll... you have very nice hairs, <laughs> and I mean, it will take long to grow back. Yo, I don't think I'd actually. No, I'm fine. Hey, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the test run for legs wasn't nice. Uh, I'm I'm okay with that hair. I I <laughs> rather I get a Hollywood wax because wow, legs is a different. Oh, that's so warm. Yeah. Did he put on baby powder all the time? Yes. Oh, it's like a very cool thing. Like this is the first time like someone actually. Mm -hmm. It's uh, <laughs> on a baby powder after each strip. Okay, yeah, no, I felt that one. Hey. Yeah, I want to be like uh, the powder absorbs the sweat all the time because, oh. um, and it helps the wax to stick and it helps to bring up the ears nicely. Yeah, powder is like a you, it's a must. <laughs> I learn something new all the time. <laughs> When was the last wax that you had? It was somewhere at the beginning of the year. Okay, it's a bit long. Yeah, no. Because I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. This is not how it was. Yes. <laughs> the last time. This is like, this is where the wax gets serious. Hey. <laughs> um, the moment you have to like open your legs so that you can get to the like, the real work. Yeah. Hey. That feels nice. Ha! <laughs> it is not well within my soul. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, dude. 
I think the one thing I appreciate about waxing is like how it gets their hairs yes. and like the inside. Which are eyes can never get. Oh, I'm just scared to use her eyes again. Exactly. Or oh, you cut yourself and oh my yes. goodness, now when you pee. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole story. I foresee pain in my future. <laughs> my very, very <laughs> near future. <laughs> Wait, so. Do you go to someone else to get a wax or can you wax yourself? There's too much PT involved when you have to wax yourself. <laughs> Tried and tasted and no. Because <laughs> I've always wondered, like, well, you know how people who who do like acrylics and stuff, they're able to do this themselves. Do, do it themselves. I was like, dude, <gasps> wax people! <laughs> Are they able yes. to? Yo! Like in between. Yes! I'm done. I'm done. This ain't no pussy, bro. This is pussy to you. This is pussy. It's pussy with an E and that fancy little thing at the top. This is some pussy. <sighs> Talk to me nicely. Talk to me nicely, bro. So, yeah, I'm back from the wax. You know, I had to do the thing. Guys, this girl's smooth. Listen, Michael Jackson, pull up on me, nigga. Smooth criminal wear. Smooth criminal wear. I got a smooth cushy girl. Anyway, so my girl is all smooth. Everything is mwah. like she she looking pretty cute. Like oaks. <laughs> I can't get over how smooth everything is. So I was just gonna share like a few tips. Like obviously disclaimer, I'm not a professional, like I'm not a beautician. I think that's what they're called. The ladies that wax. They're beauticians. Aestheticians? I could say it's a shame, but yes, the ladies who wax your coochie are not those people, so you know, take everything I say with a bunch of salt. It's gonna hurt. We all have different tolerances for pain, so I don't want you to go in there and think, ugh, like, you know, I'm not gonna tell you like it doesn't hurt. No, it does hurt. I just. I just kind of enjoy it. They have seen other vaginas, bro. As they be looking at vaginas the whole day. Like, I mean, I always like to think about it like, yo, you slept with someone for the first time in it. It's a profession, bro. Like, they're gonna keep it strictly professional, you know. They've seen other vajayjays. Every weird discoloration or anything that you may feel insecure about like hey man they've probably seen that on tons of other people i know for me it was just like i don't know what if she thinks about coochie in here <laughs> so don't go get a wax when your hair is too short you're not going to get the desired outcome i think if the hair is too short like they won't be able to get all of it out so it does need some length some people think okay i'm going to get a wax i don't want them to see that i'll be bushing it out so i'm going to trim it and then you trim it too short also when it's too long that is a problem but everyone knows their pubes man so from like the base of your coochie <laughs> to like how it grows out i don't know man that much that much hair i think that that much hair is okay you can go get that wax maybe a bit yeah i think i think that's cool but yeah just know that it is possible for your hair to be too short to go for a wax and it, it can be a bit too long please do some young cleaning or whatnot don't go to the gym don't like start the day you shower you go to the gym you walk around you do all your errands and then you're like okay i'm gonna go get We all know the coochie over like some time will 
have a sense, sweetie, you know. And that is completely normal. But, you know, if someone is going to be... That's why I'd say, like, either if you're having a morning appointment, then, like, you know, just shower, shower just before the appointment. Um, if you're having one earlier in the day, maybe you can't take a whole shower. But, you know, just wipe down there and then go. Please pee before your ex and take your dump before your ex. The sensation of hot wax on your coochie, it makes you feel like you need to pee. I don't know, I feel like it is possible to, if someone was just a whoosh and you, you know, you fart or something. Um, I know exfoliating your coochie is, it's gay, it's gay, you know. It's... Reasons that I like waxing. So, one of the reasons is it feels like my coochie is falling off the bone. Ciao. My coochie feels tenderly. She is soft, tender, neat, bro. Falling off the bone. You can put her on her plate, you can serve her and eat her up. <laughs> I, I I just I just I just love the feeling like the confidence also that comes with knowing that you know what period like this girl this girl she ready to go she ready to go she ready to be served up sweetie another thing is the hair takes significantly longer to grow back and it reduces in grown hair so if you if you want to be wearing like your bikini and whatnot and those types of things you're trying to show skin like yeah no waxing will give you like a clean finish you won't have any of those bumps if you're insecure about people seeing that around you, like your bikini line and stuff so if you're one person that is always in bikinis and you know maybe you're trying to go to the beach and get some nice photos you need to be photo shooting fresh like hey man i think a wax is definitely the way to go there's still the sensitive parts so yeah the sensitive parts are the mound every time they do that it feels like they running away with a piece of my coochie. every time every single time like i i just feel like yo can i see that waxing strip ma because i feel like you left with a piece of my coochie that's how i feel after that but yeah and also waxing your booty hole is better than waxing it's the sensation is better than waxing your vagina it's quicker like, so don't be shy to get your booty hole waxed yes the position might be a bit like but because she's gonna ask you girl can you please spread your cheek for me and you're gonna spread those cheeks girl or a guy because you know the girls ain't the only ones that is getting them waxed even as gents if you guys wanna go get yourselves waxed like yo get your booty hold on too <laughs> But anyway, that brings this little ting ting of mine to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining, somewhat informative. If you guys decide to go get a wax, then congratulations to you. If you're still like, hey man, I'm gonna stick to hair removal cream and shaving, then hey, do what you gotta do. But yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends, guys. Tell your friends, tell your friends, tell your friends. Tell your friends. I can only grow this channel with your guys' help. You know, it's a team effort, bro. We're gonna be a family. We're gonna be a family, in it. So we gotta, we gotta do what family do. We gotta put me on, you know? Share my link. I don't know if you're watching me, you know, do a young Instagram snap. Be like, oh my gosh, I'm watching Kanye's <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Like, what? We're at 208 subscribers. So I just want to say thank you for that. And yeah, I'll be back with some more content. Bye. On a big homie nigga, don't you get this shit twisted. Middle finger up, finger for the competition. Niggas always talking, so you know they never listen. P220 turn a nigga to a Christian.